Big Ed here and today I have a brand new Leopold scope. This scope happens to be the Leopold Mark AR Mod 1 3x9x40 and this is a mil dot scope right here and we're going to mount this on my uh, primary AR-15 right here and some of you will recognize this gun right here from my uh, past reviews on it. So a uh, DPMS lower with the Rock River upper and this is my New York compliant AR. I sold my old Nikon scope, we'll go into that later and this is going to be the new scope that's going onto the gun. So this has come very nicely packaged right here and I'm going to mount this on my AR here in a minute and so we got a Leopold sticker, we got um, using the tactical reticle system. This I've read right here, this is very good for mil dots and this gives you all sorts of measurements, how to, how to, big thing with a mil dot scope is figuring to be, you know, be able to use it as a uh, distance reticle, be able to measure distances with it. Uh, and then we have our owner's manual right here. Um, and then we have our little Allen wrench for our turret adjustment right here. And this scope right here came as the bundle right here. As you can see, we got our, our AR mounts to get the scope farther forward on an AR-15, and there's the scope itself. So we'll go ahead for a quick overview right here. It's a 3x9 scope. As you can see, we got it on 3 power, and it's got a big knob right there to help twist it over to 9 power and anything in between. Um, and then we have just two turrets right here. And we have, obviously, we have elevation right there, and then we have windage over here on the side. So you can see right there, we got a tenth of a mil MOA per click. And the clicks are really nice on here. And as you can see, you can hear them. They're very positive quick clicks. And for a tactical scope, and that's what this is. This is obviously made for an AR-15. You know, it says 223 Remington 55 grain on there. And uh, that's what we're going to be shooting today when we sight this bugger in right here. Um, so the next features on this scope are pretty cool right here. As you can see, we're going to zero it at 100 yards. See if I can get a good photo, you know, good camera angle on this. And so we got basically, let me see what I can see. We got a zero and then the one on top. The one basically means it's zeroed at 100 yards, and that means it's zero mils up or down right there. The one on the top means 100 yards. So basically, this scope has two functions. You can use the regular mill function on here, you know, do your calculations and, you know, and figure out your, you know, your mill radian drop over a distance, you know, or else the other thing is this also is a, a BDC compensator right here built into it. So the second number up on the tour, let's say we wanted to shoot uh, 200 yards. All we do is dial it up to the two and I've already passed it. So there's the one right there. We're going to dial it up to the 2. There's 200 yards. Let's say we want to shoot 250. There's 250. There's 3. And you can see the 3 corresponding over the, you know, the, the, the mills. So you can do it both ways. So I was going to, you know, for a quick, um, you know, for a larger target, you know, with 55 grain bullets, you know, your BDC will probably work pretty well. You know, it's closer range, I figured. And once you get out to distance, I've seen, the, you know, the BDC reticles kind of fall apart with uh, 55 grain bullets. Kind of seems like after that 300, 400 yard mark, you know, it starts to get messy. Uh, but you can see there's 400 yards, 450, 500, 550, 6, and it clicks off. It's, yeah, 650 is the last one. Um, so that's pretty nifty and I'm really excited to have both systems on here. You know, I'm really going to try to stick with the, uh, <clears throat> you know, with the mills on this. And that's why I bought this scope right here is for the, the you know, the mill dot reticle. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put in some footage right here of the, uh, of the reticle here on three and uh, nine power. Um, <clears throat> so what I understand about this scope is basically this Mark AR is built off the Leopold VX2 design. So that's, an, you know, the VX2 is definitely a solid scope. My brother is a VX1 uh, 3x9 on his uh, Remington 730-odd 6. And uh, we're both very happy with that. That's a sweet scope. You know, so the VX2 is just the next notch up in Leopold's catalog. Uh, so we're definitely happy with that. So one thing I wanted to talk about this scope is the focal plane. A lot of guys you know, are, are, and for good reason, are, are really hung up with first focal plane radicals. This is not first focal plane radical. And that basically means when it, when you're dialing your magnification on your scope right here from three and anywhere between three and nine, that your, your reticle will, 
be moving and it's always in focus and you can range with the reticle at any magnification and that's basically what that comes down to this scope since it's a not a first focal plane reticle this scope will only range correctly and the reticles mills are only correct when it's at full nine power it will and so anything if it's not nine power the mill dots are not correct uh, so that's something to keep note of but for me in this rifle right here I wasn't really interested in ranging anything on a three power so I think the scope will be absolutely fine um, you know if you're looking at anything through three power and you need to range you know you're at point blank range I would think with three power you know maybe six twelve inches of bullet drop max uh, you know with a two two three but um, you know what you know, so anything I, I was thinking, I'm like, why would I want to range anything three or four or five power? You know, I'm just going to dial it all the way up to nine and get a real, a much more accurate measurement anyway. So for this rifle right here, uh, you know, I figured this scope would be just fine right here. And, I, you know, Leopold Optics are good and I'm very happy with it. And I got a good deal. This is another eBay buy, you know, especially with these mounts right here that it comes with. With the Leopold, those billet aluminum mounts are beautiful. Um, and Leopold does make very nice mounts. This is my second set of Leopold mounts and I'm... I'm already happy with these um, and we'll you know once we bolt them on we'll uh, you know be really happy with them I bet but as you can see we got a little Allen wrench for a little turret adjustments right there to bring it back to zero and so I'm going to zero it today and then we have I believe our focus ring it's basically that's our lock collar right here on the scope this little knurled ring right here and then we can twist this whole bell housing to really get a fine focus right there so we finished sighting in the uh, scope right here and uh, shooting the rifle and uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. Um, we sighted in at 100 yards and then basically uh, the range we were at was only at 100 yards and a um, week after that my buddies and I up in Vermont took the gun to another range we have uh, in a big field in the middle of nowhere. It's basically our 308 range and it's 522 yards we have set up and we're, uh, hit, you know, shoot steel at at that distance. So, um... Basically, took the rifle out there. We set it up on some bags, and uh, my bipod adapter is broken right there. Or my bipod is broken for this rifle. So we didn't even have the greatest setup. And at 522 yards, basically, I just indexed the our top turret, our elevation turret, to uh, you know f uh, five, um, just t one tick over five, which is 500 yards. And uh, we were connecting with a 12-inch steel plate, and uh, that was pretty impressive. Um, so this this Leopold scope um, is definitely worth its weight, and it's definitely more precise than the Nikon I had on here. You know that BDC on the Nikon was just kind of circles; it was more of a guideline. This one's still a guideline, but it's more of a precise guideline. Um, so uh, you know, I'm really happy with it, and it definitely functions. Uh, you know, to does what it's supposed to do, and uh, everybody, all my, I've let about five guys shoot, it and they all loved it. And they're like, "Wow, this thing is nice." I mean, put it on there. We had it zeroed within five minutes. It was, uh, it's pretty good. Last little thing we did that I've come to uh, realize is since this is an AR-15, and this will get banged around, put some Butler Creek uh, scope caps on it, and uh, that was our little last up, uh, our little last upgrade here. And uh, so, the more expensive scope that you purchase, the uh, the less you get with it. But uh, we're overall, we're really happy with this scope, and we're going to recommend this scope. So if any of you folks are looking for a good mill dot scope with a BDC on it also, this is a pretty good buy. Um, you know, and it can be had right now. This is, uh, let's see, April of 2015. You know, this can be found right now for probably about 350 bucks on eBay with the mounts right there. And those are nice billet aluminum mounts right there. So the Leopold, that is the, uh, the AR Mod 1. Um, you know, so if you're interested in looking for a good, uh, you know, bolt on, uh, AR scope, you know, for, and this is definitely set up for a 20 inch barrel for 55 grain bolts. And it says it right there on that top turret, you know, go buy one. But, uh, thanks for watching folks. And if you have any questions, post them below, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, feel free to subscribe and, uh, 